Hey guys, welcome back to my Charlotte Tilbury look series. Today we are doing the Ingenue. So the Ingenue is super quick, super easy makeup that anybody can do. It's great for beginners, it's great for lazy people who don't want to spend too much time on their makeup but still want to look pulled together and fresh. We focused a lot on really radiant, glowy skin because the eyes are super simple. I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see my other Charlotte Tilbury look series videos, make sure you check them out. I'll leave a link for them down below. I'm not going to ramble on. Let's get started. Okay, so I've already prepped my skin with magic cream, so I'm gonna go straight in with foundation. Today I am going to be mixing my Unisex Healthy Glow as well as my Light Wonder Foundation. I have a pretty good tan going on right now, so I'm going to use the Healthy Glow to give me a little bit of color. And then the Light Wonder number 4 goes on top to add a little bit of coverage. So this is from Charlotte's website. She's radiant, fresh-faced, and effortlessly cool. The ingenue steals the spotlight without even having to try. Her look is all about relaxed, easy beauty, dewy skin, juicy lips, and a wide-eyed flutter of lashes. So you can see the Healthy Glow, it comes out white, and then it changes color as you apply it. So it gives your skin this really beautiful glow with like a little bit almost of a tan look. So if you're super, super fair, this product won't work for you. It's going to make you look really orange, but it works great in a situation like this where I have a tanned body, but I use the higher SPF on my face. This is really nice for days where I don't want to wear any makeup as well. And then I'm going to go ahead with my Light Wonder Foundation. Charlotte recommends applying this foundation with your fingers. I really like applying it that way. I use it that way on clients. I'll apply it with my fingers. For myself, sometimes I use my fingers, sometimes I use a sponge. Just kind of depends how I'm feeling. So Light Wonder Foundation is a light coverage foundation with a dewy finish. It's got SPF 15 in it. Just gives a really beautiful natural looking glow to the skin. If you have dry skin or mature skin, you will absolutely love this foundation. It has hyaluronic acid built into it, so it's gonna help moisturize your skin throughout the day as you wear it. And it just glides over top of texture, keeps the skin looking really radiant. I like using my fingers too for the effortless part of the ingenue. As few tools as possible for her. So using that Light Wonder Foundation and that Unisex Healthy Glow made my skin look really glowy and radiant, which is exactly what we're going for for the ingenue. But I want to amplify that even more. So I'm gonna go ahead with my Spotlight Highlighting Pen the beauty light wand. So you just uh, turn this cap right here to open it up, give it a little squeeze, and then you can apply it directly from the tube. So I'm gonna add this uh, right onto the high points of my face, so tops of my cheekbone, right above my brow, a little bit on my chin, down the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, and then I'm gonna add a little bit to the inner corners of my eyes as well. Close it up. So it doesn't make a big mess in your makeup bag and then I'm gonna go ahead with my fingers to blend that in so in my opinion cream products are easier to use than powder for beginners and the ingenue really is a beginner's makeup look the ingenue is for someone who doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup maybe someone who's a little bit intimidated by makeup and wants to start getting into it a little bit more I recommend cream products for someone like that because you use your fingers with cream products they're really forgiving so if you put on too much you can just kind of blend it away into the skin they feel really lightweight and hydrating on the skin as well so it's comfortable for people who aren't used to wearing a lot of makeup okay so now we're really glowing the next thing I'm gonna do is conceal underneath my eyes so I'm using my YSL all hours concealer and I'm going to apply my concealer in a triangular shape underneath my eyes a lot of people just apply concealer directly underneath their eye right here what that's gonna do is actually attract attention to your under eye area So when you apply your concealer in a triangular shape underneath your eye, this whole area becomes one color and it's gonna help really lift that under eye area and make it look nice and bright. I'm also going to apply this concealer between my brows 
and on my chin. So this concealer is a lighter color than my foundation, so this is gonna really brighten through the center of my face, which is why I apply it on my forehead and my chin as well, because we don't just want super bright under eyes. When you balance it between your chin and forehead, it makes the whole center of your face look brighter, so it's not so obvious that you've just gone ahead and brightened underneath your eyes. For this look, I like to bring my concealer up on top of my eyelid as well to help brighten my whole eye area. I'm gonna take my Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder in shade number one, and I'm going to set the areas where I put down that concealer. I'm just gonna pat the powder right over top. We want to keep that dewy radiance on the face as much as possible. That's one of the reasons the Airbrush Fellas Finishing Powder is so nice. It's infused with almond oil and rose wax, so it doesn't make the skin feel dry. So really nice just to set the center of the face and then leave everything else still nice and hydrated and glowy looking. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my Lorac eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna use a tiny little bit. If you use too much eyeshadow primer and then try to use the Color Chameleon eyeshadow pencils over top, the eyeshadow primer can kind of mix with the Color Chameleon and then you're not gonna get the proper color pigmentation out of your eyeshadow pencil. So next I'm gonna do brows. This is the legendary brow gel in the shade Supermodel. So it's got this tiny little wand on it, which makes it really easy to comb through your brow hairs. So I'm gonna comb in an upwards direction because Ajinu has super fluffy, really trendy, sporty brows. But they're still soft, which is why I'm not gonna also use a pencil, which is what I would normally do. So normally I would go in with a pencil and then use this gel to set. But this gel actually does a good job of filling it in on its own. It just gives a softer, more natural look. What's the difference right there? Okay, so as I was filling in my brows, I noticed that I have this pimple right here that I need to cover. So I have acne prone skin. So when I wear a lightweight, light coverage foundation, I like to just take a little bit of concealer. This is my Dior Skin Forever Concealer. It's closer to my skin tone than the YSL concealer that I was using underneath my eyes, which I like to use for brightening. This is a darker shade. And so when I use a lightweight foundation like the Light Wonder, I like to just go over top of the areas where I need a little bit of extra coverage with my concealer. And then I like to just pat that in with my finger because using a sponge is going to really press that concealer and sort of push it all over the place. Um, and we're trying to just use it in more of a targeted way. So this way I can keep the concealer where I want it. Okay, so this is a color chameleon, also known as an eyeshadow pencil. It's sort of like a creamy consistency. So I'm going to work one eye at a time. I'm going to take the pencil. I'm going to start right up against my lashes and color that all over the lid. So once I've got the pencil drawn on, I'm gonna take my finger. You always wanna use your finger to blend this out. And I'm just going to start really softly blending out the edges of that. So I'm not blending my entire lid. I'm just using my finger sort of in my crease area and blending out the edges. I'm just really diffusing that product up towards my brow and the tail end of my eye here. If you were to blend out that whole thing with your finger, you're going to lose a lot of the pigmentation. Even just doing that, I've lost a little bit, so what I'll do is just take my color chameleon and just go over top again in the area where a little bit of my skin is poking through from underneath. This is what makes the Ingenue so beginner friendly. It's just one step eyeshadow that you blend out with your finger. Super easy. So you can totally just leave it like that. I'm going to do one extra step just to um, add a little bit more to the look. So I'm gonna take this fluffy blender brush right here and I'm going to dip this into my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Bronzer. This is the bronzer that I'm gonna use on my face in a minute here. And I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna apply a little bit on the outer corner of my eyes. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just gonna softly sort of sweep that into the crease as well. So this is just gonna add a little bit more dimension to the look. And I'm just gonna take my little pencil brush in that bronzer again and just sweep a little bit of that under my eye on my lower lash line as well. 
And then to finish off the eye look, I'm going to take an even smaller brush into the highlight shade and just go over top of that inner corner. We used the spotlight highlighter in there earlier. This is just going to set it and kind of intensify it even more. All right, so the eyeliner for the Ingenue is one of Charlotte's classic powder pencils in the color Audrey. So these eyeliners are, again, really great for beginners because they have a really soft look. And if you mess it up, you can just smudge it out and go for more of a smudgy, kind of smoked out liner. So I'm just going to use this to draw a thin line right up against my lashes. And it has a really powdery finish. It almost looks like you used an eyeshadow for your eyeliner. I'm gonna apply that on the top and on the bottom as well. And I'm not being too careful with this because I am gonna go ahead with my pencil brush and just blend that out. Just really diffuse it, add a little bit of smoke to the look. So I'm going to pop on a little bit of my Dior Show mascara and some fluffy, fluttery lashes and then I will be right back to finish off the face. Okay, so I've got my lashes and my mascara on. I'm just going to go ahead with my Audrey eyeliner and tight line my eye as well. The powder pencils are not waterproof, they're not really meant to be used inside the eye like that. Uh, it won't last very long, but it'll last for this video, so. So our ingenue is a cool girl, she definitely loves bronzer, so I'm gonna go ahead with my fluffy bronzer brush and uh, really give the skin a good bronze. So temples. And I apply the bronzer in a patting motion because I don't want to move things around too much. But once I get the product down, I'm going to go in circular motions to blend it out. I'm going to dust them onto my cheeks. And I always bronze my neck because my face and neck are a lot lighter than the rest of my body. Our ingenue definitely likes a little bit of contour as well. So I'm going to continue back in that same bronzer shade. And I'm going to take my little uh, contour brush and I'm going to do, as Charlotte says, follow the hollow. So if you don't know where your hollow is, uh, you can just suck in and follow the little line that is created there. And I'm still doing circular motions for my contour. I'm going to keep it soft and blended. I'm going to add a little bit to the sides of my nose as well. All right, so even though we used the spotlight highlighter already, we are going to highlight again because we want to be super glowy because we are young and trendy. So I'm going to take my little highlighter brush and dip it into the highlight shade from the Filmstar Bronzing Glow Palette. And I'm going to add that onto the tops of my cheekbones, above the brow, bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, Cupid's bow here, a little bit on the chin. The next thing I'm gonna do is lips. So I'm gonna start out with the Pink Venus Lip Liner. So because my lips are naturally full on the bottom and a little bit less full on the top, I follow my natural lip line on the bottom and then I overdraw the top of my lips. So I follow the top of my lip line. Which gives them a little bit more lift and volume. You can see the difference. So next I'm going in with Coachella Coral. And then I'm gonna to top that with Portobello Girl Gloss. So I'm gonna apply this right to the center of my lips. And then we're gonna finish with blush. So when you are wearing a really bright lipstick or a really nude lipstick, um, it's good to do your blush after your lips because that's gonna tell you how much more color you need in your face. So we've got a really bright pink lip and we're gonna use a bright pink blush, but we don't need as much of it because of the pink in our lips. Although the Ingenue does have quite a pink cheek, so maybe we'll go a little bit more heavy handed with it than I might otherwise just to match the photo a little bit more. So uh, we're going to swish and pop. So we're gonna swish around the outside edge first. 
I'm gonna take that in so circular motions up the cheek between my contour and my highlight. Then I'm going to pop right into that center shade there. I'm gonna smile and dust that right on the apples of the cheeks. So this way you get a really pretty two-dimensional looking flush to the cheek. Add a little bit of life and color. Okay, so that is the Ingenue. It is fresh, glowing, easy, youthful makeup. Perfect for beginners. Perfect if you don't want to spend a lot of time on your makeup. You still get a pull together, fresh makeup look without too much time or effort. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Like this video so that more people can see it too. And leave me a comment down below so I know you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.